Hey everybody, come on in, say hello. This is Dawn with Wreath Decor by Dawn. Thank y'all so much for joining me tonight. I am going to be making a western themed wreath and I'm going to show y'all what I've got here for you in just a second. So we've got our 14 inch wreath frame here. Hello everybody. I have 18 ties. I got 10 on the outside rings and I have 8 on the inside rings. I have a video on my uh, YouTube of how I do my frames. If anyone's interested in that, just let me know. I can shoot you the link to it. Or you'll find it over there on my YouTube channel. Alright, so let me just tighten this one down. Hello, welcome. So tonight I'm going to do a poof and ruffle. So I thought since um, Susie is giving us the 15% discount for those of us with affiliate links to share with you guys, I thought I would show you the mesh rollers. So I have two of her mesh rollers. So I thought I would show you guys the mesh rollers. So what's going on is Susie with, um, is offering you guys 15% discount if you use our affiliate links. My affiliate link is in the description. So just use my affiliate link and the code SWAT, S-W-A-T-15, and you get 15% off any purchase of mesh rollers that you make um, from Susie's Wreaths and Things. So check that out because that's an awesome deal. And if you want a mesh roller or you've been asking or thinking about one or dreaming about one, now's the time to get it because she doesn't do these sales very often. So take advantage of them. Okay, so I am using some 21 inch mesh tonight. I haven't used it in a while. So I thought I would go ahead and use some of that. So I need to clean this up. This was an open roll of mesh. So I just want to clean this up a little bit here. There we go. Set down in there. All right, so what I do is I want to take this nice clean cut here, get my zip ties out, forgot to do that. And I'm going to start on my top ring. So I'm going to look for two ties that are right next to each other or right up and down from each other, really close. Looks like this one right here. I'm going to put my mesh in there. So I'm zip tying this down. So the mesh roller itself, this one I'm using, is the collapsible one. She also has a stationary one, and this is the three-tiered um, one. She also has a single. Let me see where my wire cutters went. Here they are right here next to me. So this is the collapsible one, and when we're all done, I'll show you how it collapses down and stores away. Makes it really convenient. All her um, products are made in the USA. She has patents on them. All right, so we're going to do, I think we're going to do a 10 inch um, poof because I don't remember if this was a full roll or not. Because it would be my luck to get stuck with the end and not have enough, right? All right, so you have two. Are you talking about the mesh rollers? Yeah, I have two. I have the collapsible and then I have the sidekick, the double sidekick. So this is the sidekick and I'm going to show you this one too. Um, she also has a single in this one. So if you don't need the double, you can get the single one. But just make sure you use my affiliate link up there at the top in order to get the um, discount, okay? Because without that link, it won't work. All right, so we're going to do... Uh, oh, I didn't show you guys everything we were doing. I just told you, right? We're doing the Western theme wreath tonight. So I found these signs at um, Party City. Oh, I have my fan going. If it gets, if it's too noisy or if it's interrupting, let me know and I'll turn it off. I'm having a heat wave here. So this little sign set came from Party City. So it came like this with the hat, then the sign, and then these boots were all attached together. And I just took them apart because I want to use the boots and the sign and then I also found this little hat at Party City and I want to use it. So we're going to use this along with the sign and the boots and I don't know if we'll do anything with the hat or not. That little hat, the black one, the cowboy hat, 
was actually one of those with the headband on it so you could wear it. But I just cut that headband part off so that I can use just the hat. So welcome everybody. If you guys are new, my name is Dawn. This is Reek the Core by Dawn. Has February started off really good for you guys, I hope? Ours always starts off really good because my daughter's birthday is the first. So on this mesh roller, it's got the three tiers. Here's the dowels that come with it. You get these three dowels that lock in here. And then it also comes, I'll put this one on the bottom here. That's where it goes. It's got the ruler on the front of it here. I don't know if you guys can see that real well. And then there's a slot for your mesh to slide through. Ooh, this mesh is really thick. Okay. So if y'all just joined and you're new to my page, again, my name is Dawn. This is Reek Decor by Dawn. I am in North Carolina. You can join my email list and get notified whenever I go live. I send out an email letting you know what time I'm going live. I show you a sneak peek of what I'm going to be making. And um, it has a bunch of other links and things in there for you as well. Links to stuff that I sell in my shop. I have some, if you see our little guy over here, we used him in a wreath last week. Lucky, we call him. All right, so look at that. There's the end. That was quick. Went by quicker than I thought it would. All right, I'm going to cut this off. And I'm just going to pull out a couple of inches and I'm going to just saw it off. And then I'm going to take another zip tie. So that's all we had left of that roll. So that's another 21 inch mesh that I'm done with now. I don't use a lot of 21 inch mesh anymore. So, all right, we'll just throw that over there. So here's the collapsible and I'm going to show you in one second how it folds down and makes it really convenient so that you can get it up out of the way when you're working and then have it out when you need it. All right, so I'm taking my zip tie and I'm going around the frame here. And we're just gonna zip tie this loose end down. I guess it helps if I turn the zip tie the right direction though. Otherwise, it won't lock. All right, I'm tightening that zip tie down. Let's cut that off. All right, so there we have it with our poofs. We did 10 inch poofs all the way around top and bottom, which I'm glad I didn't do 12 because I definitely wouldn't have had enough for that. So like I said, that was an open roll of mesh, so it's hard to remember how much of it you actually used. But it looked like it was pretty full when I got it out, so I'm glad it was enough. All right, so I'm just going to open these up, and then I'm going to show you how to close up this mesh roller. And then All right, gonna... so there's our poofs. All right, so this is the mesh roller here. Like I said, the collapsible. Let me get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so when you want to put it away, you take your sticks, your dowels. There's a slot right down here that they slide into, so they stay right there. They're not going anywhere. On the sides, these lock into place, these arms. So you're just going to unlock that, lay it down, and that's it. This is all you have to store. So now we're going to go ahead and finish using this one. Now I can move my tablet back over here. Move that out of the way. All right, so with the little one here, this is called the sidekick. This is a double sidekick. It's got the little slot here for you to put your mesh through as well. And you can do two rolls of mesh at the same time. You can also put your labels on here. You can put your ribbons on here to cut them. You can do that with the large one as well. All right, so let's cut the rest of these. We're cutting these at 20 inches. Where's my 20 inch mark right here? I guess I have numbers up there at the top too if I just look. 
but let's just make it more difficult for ourselves so again I'm cutting these at 20 inches so that link is up there in my description you get 15% off if you use the code SWAT S-W-A-T all capitals 15 so we want to thank Susie for offering that for us it's an awesome discount she also has the glue gun holders which I have over here and she has the gift wrap buddy too so she's got one that holds the gift wrap so that if you're wrapping presents if you do a lot of that then you can use the gift wrap one I don't know if I'll need it or not but we'll see I don't know how many I didn't count all my pieces all right so there is the sidekick she also has it in the single as well okay so check those out I promise you guys you're gonna love them let me get that out of the way my arms aren't as long as they used to be all right I'm gonna leave that there in case I need it let me get these over here we're just gonna do a regular ruffle tonight so we're gonna bring our poofs back up here and we're going to put one in every tie. All right. I feel like I just did a commercial. <laughs> you guys think I have what it takes to do commercial? All right. So when we put the ruffles in, we're just ruffling them up. I'm not doing curls with them or anything. You want to open them up. You want to make it look like a little flower petal so it looks like that So yeah, so that's what I've decided my goal for this year is going to be. I'm going to be purchasing more from more crafters like myself and helping to promote them. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to do my Hobby Lobby shopping because, you know, I love Hobby Lobby. But I'm not going to be spending as much there as I probably would have. You know, as hard as it is to get supplies right now, what better way to support other businesses and other small businesses than to buy from them? Because they're struggling too. The big, big companies aren't struggling as bad, but they are struggling. So let's support them instead of supporting uh, the big box stores nothing wrong with shopping there I'm not saying there is don't get me wrong I just think we need to, to help out the little guys a little more and I ask people to support me so it's only right that I help support them back so I encourage you all to do the same there's our wreath alright now I did not cut any of my ribbons because look how many I have I could not decide what I was gonna do so I did a Susan and I just pulled them all out so if you just join let me show you what we're doing here's my cowboy hat it was actually a head thing it had a band on it and I cut it off so there's our cowboy hat here's our sign howdy this actually came as a set there was a rope hanging in between them I just cut that off made them in my own so the hat I don't really need but we are going to use the boots so there was the boots how about that let's make a bow maybe we won't put tails in I don't know 
So I've got a mixture of all my colors here. I've got browns, tans, reds. I've got some blue denim because got to have denim. Come on. All right, so we know we're using this one. This one here has got the cowboy hats, and then it has the, um, oh, help me out here, guys. What's it called? Paisley um, that looks like bandana. I also have it with just that um, bandana on there. But this has got the boots and then the horse and the hat. So we're going to be using that one for sure. All right, so we're going to use that. We're going to use this one. We're going to add in some black. I brought both of those because I don't know how much is on that one roll. Tan, the red. I don't know if I want to use this one or not, or if I want to just use this darker red. It's a burgundy. I really like them both. So let's see what kind of bow we want to make. Oh, we did hit our 10,000 followers. Brenda donated some signs for our giveaway. So I'm going to be plan. Um, well, I'm planning it now. I'm just getting everything together. But I've got a couple things going on in the next couple weeks. So we may have to do it at the beginning of March. But I'm going to see if I can't get it done. Well, the last weekend of February is out because that's the floral show. And I'll be at Sims. So if you're in North Carolina or coming for the show, let me know because I'll see you there. All right. Let's see. We want this one. I know I'm going to be using this one. Don't know about that one. I am using that one. Oh, that one might. Is it going to work? Is that going to work? Is it going to work? Oh, I hate that noise. It's cardboard scraping. Come on. You'd think I was new at this. All right, that one I don't need yet. And then I have this brown. And we're going to use this one. I know, right? Let's have a real party. I can do that. Alright, I think I want to start with... We'll put that one in last. Let's start with the brown. Alright, I'm going to do about a 10, 12 inch tail. i got to get this off. I don't know why I had that on there anyway. That's about 11 inches, whatever. Close enough. Okay, I like to do a five and a half inch loop. I don't know why, but it does make a difference. I say that every time, but really it does. And I've had people that have done it and go, you know what, it really does. It makes a difference. Who knew, right? half an inch so yeah I'm getting everything ready so that we can do our big 10,000 party I've got a couple donations that I got in y'all should see the stuff that Susan sent me for the giveaway I got signs from Brenda guys are going to love those. Let's do this one now. Now we'll do this one. Yes, thank you so much, Brenda. You did, you did not have to do that. Alright, so we're going to do one loop with this and it's going to be five inches. And I will be telling y'all more about their businesses when we do that, too. Because they were kind enough to donate stuff for our party. We're going to make sure that we support their business. There we go. All right. I could have done that the other way, but... It's working just fine. All right, we're going to do one more of the natural. And then I think we're going to do the paisley. 
Do I want to do this one or do I want to do the others? No, we're going to do this one. Alright, I wanted to use this one, so I'm going to take this out. We can use that for something else. Might do a second bow if I get myself moving here. So I want to do this. So I'm going to do... I don't need to turn it. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Twist it. Don't need to. But I'm going to do it anyway because habit just makes me feel better, I guess. Make sure they stay in between the things there, though. It's got the holes in it. So this is a window pane um, ribbon. Hence all the little squares. So these are open squares. So again, those mesh rollers and the coupon code and everything is in my description. So be sure to get that information and use my link to purchase those. All right, now that's what I wanted. Let's see. I want to see what this one looks like real quick. I have way too many ribbons here. Too many decisions. Yes, you can save money with the package deals. That's right, she's got package deals. So where you can buy the um, mesh roller and the glue gun holder. That's what I did. I bought the Sidekick and the glue gun holder. And the glue gun holder is going to be part of our 10,000 giveaway. Because I have a glue gun holder over here that was given to me as a gift from my sweet Susan. And I love mine so much, I thought I would give you guys one. I'm going to change my mind about a million times. Exactly, Lee. You got that right. The the she said the what she likes about the roll mesh rollers is the um, dowels don't come out. Yeah, they stay in there. They don't come out. That's one of the things I love too. Yeah, let's do this one. And she has the rulers on the front of the big ones. And like I said, she's also got the gift wrap, buddy. Which holds your gift wrap and your ribbons for those that do the wrapping in that. Alright, now we're going to do... This probably should have been on the bottom. Yeah, I don't like it on top of that denim.
All right, that'll work. That'll work. Now we're going to go back with this. Right there. And now we'll put the blue back in there. Come on. Yes, I got to redo that. Yep. All right, you guys. See, I do take forever. <laughs> All right, do I want to stop there or do I want to add this? We'll do a third right there. No. No, 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 no. We'll just leave it. All right, we're done with that. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right, so I'm moving this pipe or pipe cleaner. Zip tie. We're putting the zip tie in the middle here. Want to make sure that I hold it tight so that all my ribbons stay there. Don't want anything moving on me. That would not be good. How many did I end up with? I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ribbons. I told you I couldn't decide. Taking another zip tie. Oh, thank you, Lee. I'm glad to be back. But I needed that break. I really did. I needed to refocus. Yeah. I'm going to take this bow and I'm going to put it in between my mesh here. All right. We'll fix that bow later. I'm not going to keep playing with it because I know you guys are probably sick of watching me do it. Let's get our other stuff on here. So we got Howdy and then we have our cowboy hat and our boots. Can't forget our boots. So I'm going to put, and I may change this bow. I'm, if I look at it long enough, I'm probably not going to like it. So I might just pull a Susan and change it. All right, I'm going to put my boots on. Let's put our boots on. I'm going to use my handy-dandy weaving needles. You can get those in my shop, wreaththecorebydawn.com. And I have not cut any of my um, ties down because... You're going to Jamaica on the 22nd? Oh, take me back with you. We were just there. Where are you going? You're going to love it. If you've never been, you're going to love it. The boots, um, came, Cindy, the boots came from um, Party City, the actual party store, Party City. Everybody, I think, has one of those. I think it's a pretty popular chain. Um, but it came as a set. It's over in the parties uh, section. And it came with the hat. The sign and the boots, they were all attached together, but with rope. You can see the little holes there. And I just took them apart, and we're using the sign and the boots. I'm not using the hat because I want to use this hat that I got at Party City as well. So the weaving needles help you to get your pipe cleaners and your wires through the mesh. So all I have to do is put that on there. I don't even have to look. I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, it's your sixth time? Oh, nice. Well, it was our first time. We went for our anniversary. We just had our 40th anniversary. And that was, it was almost not even going to be um, Jamaica. We were going to go to Hawaii. And 
I decided at the last minute I wanted to go to Jamaica. Which is funny because at the same time, my husband, who was, he was deployed for his job overseas. And he had been talking to some people and they were telling him about Jamaica. So it just kind of was weird that both of us were thinking. He hit it and bring it up to me because he knew my heart was set on going to Hawaii. And I finally said, you know, would you be upset if I changed my mind? And he's like, where do you want to go? And when I told him, he's like, really? That's weird. <laughs> so yeah, we just went. We came back uh, two weeks ago. What did I do with the needle? There it is. And we loved it. We had an awesome time. We did one of the all-inclusive things, and for our first trip, and it was it was wonderful. We just everybody was so nice, and we went to uh, Ocho's Rios. We flew into Montego Bay, but then we drove. They drove us to uh, Ocho's Rios, which is at the other end of the island. I don't know if you've been there. But, oh my gosh, the people were so sweet and so nice, and we had such a good time. I got to swim with dolphins. That was awesome. My husband did too, but it was really nice. We had so much fun. Spent most of our time sitting by the pool or the beach, both. Which the pool was right by the beach, so. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. It was, we, and we had perfect weather. It was mid 80s the whole time we were there. We did have rain the night before we left, but that was, it was at night, so it wasn't a big deal. Our room was facing the water, so we got to watch the ships come in and out. There were a lot of cruise ships that came in and out. All right, hat. I got to put my ties on it. All right, so I'm All taking right. my metal needle, which isn't going to work. I thought it would, but it's not. So I'm going to have to use my ice pick. Sorry, guys, we're running late again. I'll get this down to where we're back at an hour. All right, so I'm taking, they've got a thick piece of felt on the bottom here, and I'm just making a hole without stabbing myself. I'm going to take my needle and go through there. Your weaving needles are really good for this as well. So we'll pull this through. And I'm going to tie this off. I'm only going to put one in it for now. I can always go back and add more later. Alright, right here. My needle, got my needle. I love them too. Thank you, Cindy. I'm glad you like them. I'm going to go stab this right down in there. And when you tie off, make sure you're tying off to your frame. Don't ever tie off just to the mesh. Because it could come loose, the mesh could tear, any number of things could happen. So you want to make sure that you have it on there nice and tight and secure. So make sure you tie off to your frame. Those pipe cleaners and wires are long enough, they'll reach. All right. Now I will finish this up. And what I'll do is, um, if I think it needs tails, I'll go around and add some. Um, I might add some tubing as well. I did pull some out, but I forgot to um, get another pack of the brown. So... And I might have to work on this bow before I can do any tails in that because I don't know if I'm really liking it. Alright, so here we go. Let me hold this up. So there's our little cowboy hat. I'll tighten that down so it's secure. We've got our howdy. We've got our cowboy boots. Alright, so don't forget, check out Susie's Recent Things. Use my link up in the description there to get your 15% off along with the code SWAT, S-W-A-T, all capitals, 15, all one word, SWAT, W-S-W-A-T, 
and uh, 15 to get your discount. Get your mesh rollers, get your glue gun holders, get all your goodies. I promise you will be happy with it. Have a great night, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you, Susan. Love you guys. I will see you all very soon.